Hi, I'm Bill Hartzell, and I want to talk to you about some of the things to prepare for your first guitar lesson. The first thing that you're going to need, in my opinion, is pencil and some plain music manuscript paper. Uh, this has three holes in it already, so you can put it in your uh, notebook binder and uh, write down your lessons as we go through them, uh, learning about the guitar. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I believe students should have is a metronome. I just use a simple one like this. You set your tempo with the dial, you turn it on, and you get a tempo reference, and that's important to keep good timing as you practice your instructions. The third thing that you're going to need is a tuning reference. You can use an electronic tuner like this one. It has a little meter here. It tells you uh, with the indicators what note that you're playing and whether or not you're in tune. The other thing that you can use for a tuning reference is either a piano or I happen to have a tuning fork here, which is uh, tuned to A, the fifth string on the guitar. So we're going to check the guitar against the fork, and then we're going to tune the guitar strings across the fretboard so that we can have the instrument in tune. So now that the A string, we know it is in tune, we can fret at the fifth fret. Standard guitar tuning, with one exception, each string is a fourth apart. That means that at the fifth fret of the next lowest string, you're going to hear the same note as the open string higher. For instance, the fifth fret of the low E string is going to sound the same A as that open fifth string. Continuing, the fifth fret of your A string is going to be the same note as that open D string. Fifth fret on the D is going to be the note G, which is your third string. And now the exception. On the G, you're going to actually play at the fourth fret to sound the second open string, which is the B string. and then back to the 5th fret on that open B string, which will sound the same note as your high E open 1st string. Now, after I've checked each string individually, I like to play a few chords just to see if the instrument is in tune across itself. And I'm happy with that, and now I'm ready to make some music.